Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Critics Cut. My name is Jacob, and today I have a slightly early review of the brand new, for April 1st, free new Lego Marvel Max. They retail for £9 each in the UK. And here we have the brand new Iron Man, which will probably come in a lot more future sets. Got Wolverine, the return of the X-Men after five, six years since the last X-Men set, so that's very exciting. And a brand new Black Panther minifigure, which is unexpected. Um, which looks really cool as well. So yeah, it's the main draw and star of the show obviously is the Wolverine mech because it's just been so long since X-Men have been done in Lego. I'm so excited. I love the X-Men that they're back. And as a little um, tease for later on in the video, I will be comparing the 2020 Iron Man mech to the brand new one. Instead of doing a separate five minute video, I thought I might as well just include the comparison here because it's only short. And yeah, stay tuned to make sure you like and subscribe because the next video will be every single X-Men set Lego's ever made, apart from comic con figures, um, in one video. So that'll be the next video going up after this quick review of all three of these. There's no point doing three separate reviews. They only take like two minutes each, five minutes each to film. So yeah, let's jump into it. So we'll look at the individual box arts feature. So this is the Wolverine one. So you can see in the top corner, you've got Lego Marvel Wolverine in a nice font. I've never seen that font before. It might be based on the upcoming PS5 game. You have to let me know in the comments. Got the OG um, original X-Men logo in the far corner. So hopefully that means we get more X-Men sets. Uh, you can see they've got the Infinitus Saga style packaging, which they're continuing, which is nice to see. Got the figure on top with all the characters. And on the back of the box shows the minifigure out of the mech armor. Here is the Wolverine mech, our first X-Men set in a lot, very long time since. I believe the Mighty Micros set came out in 2016 or 2017, around that time. Anyways, uh, so yeah, as you can see here, it's just like the standard mechs. These were meant to come out in January. We'll get into that a little bit later on, but they're releasing on April 1st. I got these a couple of days early for review for you guys. So... Um, it's a normal mech like all the other mechs have done for the last couple of years it's now or for three years now So you've got the standard feet at the bottom, which is um, Quite wide base feet for stability. You've got two printed pieces, which are really cool to see so you've got the um, Belt um, buckle there and the X-Men logo So those would be really good for custom mocks and stuff or if you want to update the blackbird with some printed pieces um, the claws are a very interesting technique. They use these long blade pieces, which I forget where they've used them before, but they've used them quite a few times. You can easily remove each of them. So if you want to retract the claws, you also got um, fingers on each hand and a thumb. So you can have him grab hold of a, another figure. Maybe do his own version of a fastball special. The only problem, as you can see, that I'm having with these is that the claws are a little bit difficult to keep in place. You have to really slide them in there because and keeping them straight as well. That's the only downside I would say with this mech is the claws and also the way they've done the legs. So they've changed up the design at the bottom, which I'll show you later on how they've changed that. I do like the large shoulder pal pad pieces, which is reminiscent of the classic wolverine suit you can remove the figure by just pulling the canopy piece down which they used originally for nexo knights and now the marvel mechs uh, it's just got a little bracket in there we'll take a closer look at the figure in a moment take a look around the back you can see it's quite nicely built up they've covered up a lot of the gaps with some tile limb details so that's nice to see so you can have him doing a kick on one foot there we go so there you go you've got the classic x-men origins wolverine poster um it's a fun movie it's not a great movie but yeah, I do love that you can recreate that. I'm sure they've used it on other posters, but that's the one that first came to mind that I recognise it from. Wolverine is Devin. I am so sorry for all my viewers for doing this pose, but yeah, I just thought it would be hilarious with the really long, extended, oversized claws. Here is the brand new 2022 Wolverine minifigure. I will be doing an, a follow-up video showing all the different Wolverine minifigures with all the X-Men sets in one video, so make sure you subscribe for that. So you, I'll show you a closer comparison of that when we get to that video. But yeah, he comes with his Wolverine claws. Great to see those again. Could have done with some leg printing, but that's okay. It's pretty common from Lego Marvel. Brought back the original cow piece from 2014, which you could only get in the Blackbird set. So it's, uh, as you can see, it's just a painted black. It's not door molded over it. I believe it's a new parts number. As you can see, he's got the goggles on for the um, when you put on the mask. 
spinning it around, you can see he's got a brand new alternate expression and some nice back torso printing. Unfortunately, unlike Black Panther, he comes with a separate head and hairpiece. You don't get a separate hairpiece for Wolverine, which is unfortunate. Again, when I do a comparison video, I will show you what that looks like with the hairpiece. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, it's just amazing that people are able to get, like this is the cheapest way we've been able to get Wolverine since 2012, 10 years ago in that original Deadpool set, which retailed for about £13 or £18 back in the day, I believe it was, or £20. I can't remember, it was 10 years ago. Um, yeah, that was the cheapest way you could get, but it's the cheapest way we've ever been able to get the cow piece, which is really nice of Lego to bring back. It is the box art for Iron Man. I love the um, cosmic colours they've got going through the background there. Shows off the figure very nicely. So you get a brand new suit inspired by the Mark 43 from Iron Man 3 with the gold plating. Very different from the other Iron Man mech that we got in 2020, which I will show you a comparison of in a moment. Infinity Star um, box art packaging, which is being continued throughout all Lego Marvel sets going forward, which is really nice to see. The brand new 2022 version of the Lego Marvel Superheroes Iron Man mech. I love this personally. I wouldn't mind as Instead of getting, like, we've had three Spider-Man mechs, which I own zero of those, apart from the Miles Morales one, which is a fourth one, technically. Um, I'm more than happy to collect these Iron Man ones, but don't go out of this, your way to buy this just for the figure. Wait until we see what's to come later in the year, because I guarantee you, because when the original 2021 came out, we all believed that figure was going to remain exclusive to the mech when they used it, like, a gazillion times after that. So don't be surprised that they reuse any of these figures in future sets, even the Wolverine minifigure. Um, but yeah for now this is the only way you could get this suit so who knows this might stay exclusive fingers crossed because this is a great way to get cheap brand new suits for iron man to collect anyways let's have a look at the mech itself so this is probably the best color scheme wise that i've seen for these marvel mechs that they've done that i really love um the only downside to this one compared to the others it comes with three stickers so you feet and you've got one on the hand here which are just a pain. That is a printed piece in the middle. Always nice to see these consistently getting printed. The chest pieces uses an extra night shield piece. I love the um, transfluorescent piece they've used for this shield, which is a very different kind of weapon given the, a mech a shield. They don't tend to do that. And it reminds me, of course, of Avengers Endgame with the Mark 85, where he uses the shield to protect them from the Infinity Gauntlet Blast. He also comes with a stud shooter, as you can see there, which you can shoot. It's the newer style version, which is very cool, in gold, pearl gold, which I don't believe they've done in that colour. Uh, you also got transfluorescent pieces on either of the shoulder pads, which are really cool. You can see how uh, you just take the figure out like the other one. I'm not going to remove it. I do like leaving the power blast pieces in. It just adds a bit of stripe and colour with the blue. Kind of like brings it the mech together in my opinion. And you can see around the back as well. Posability wise, I don't really need to specify all the time. It also comes with thrusters on the bottom, which is really cool. Him posing, doing a kick, which is a lot easier when they've got the wider feet compared to the Black Panther and some other ones, which will show you the difference in the 2020 version and the 2022 version on the right. So you can see how different these are comparably. I do like, as I say, how different these are. They even use different um, fingers. So they use these little bar pieces for the fingers. You still use the Exo Force arm pieces for the thumbs. But yeah, that's what these two guys look like side by side. And that's the backs of them. So as I was saying, the reason why these got delayed, I don't know why. Like if it ain't broke, don't fix it, is the saying. So they used to use this connection here to, to stop the hips from like going all the way round. It's worked fine for two years. They've used it for quite a few mechs. But now they've, as you can see, they've changed it to a brick built design because what they used was was the pieces, they these little ball joint pieces for the feet. Apparently the connection was really weak. But now, as you can see, it's like lopsided. So the hips are always going to be uneven. I hope they go back to the older style because I really don't like this. As you can probably notice, the posings of these mechs are much more difficult. So as you can see there, it's like layered with ball joint end pieces. I really, really dislike it. it. It's a little nitpick, but I really hope they go back to the old style. If it wasn't, there was nothing wrong with it. I don't know why Lego went out of their way to change it and cause all these problems. We could have had this set four months ago. But here is the new Iron Man suit, which is going to go great in everyone's Hall of Armors collection. It's 
got fantastic leg printing and they use the um, one piece helmet mold. Comes with some power blast pieces. I love that the body uses a pearl gold base. So you could probably switch out um, the helmet for the original Mark 43 if you had that figure and put it on this torso because this torso looks fantastic. And yeah, always great to see. Again, you know, downside to this figure. So you've got the face they've been using for, since 2018 with the heads up display and the normal Tony Stark face on the back. But it doesn't come with a hairpiece, which like Wolverine could have done with because they do it for Black Panther, but not these guys for some reason. Here is the Black Panther box art. As you can see, it uses like an, um, you've got some Wakanda trees, it looks like a background there. Saga style packaging on the back. You can see, he comes with an alternate face, and I love the background detailing of Wakanda in the background. Very nice to see. And here is the Black Panther mech. This is a really cool concept for a mech. I love the claw pieces they used for the hands, they look fantastic. And I am. Um, one thing I don't like is they have the um, smaller feet design for this one, for like the more agile characters, I guess. I prefer they all had the wider base, so they're more sturdy. But yeah, uh, he's got printed piece on the front, no stickers on this one or anything like that. I do love how they use hidden for out, and if you notice them throughout the video, the little silver pieces and the teeth pieces. Um, and they also use them in black and just to give it a little bit of texturing and they even use it on the shoulders I do enjoy that um, So yeah, um, it opens up. He's got a heads-up display, which is kind of nice I mean, like that. It's like a control panel and this one comes all the way down and you can take the figure in and out Which we'll take a closer look at the figure in a moment uh, Looking around the back, it's got the least amount of covering up in terms of exposed like anti-studs here and here could have done one more tile piece just on there to finish that off and it would have been perfect. Again, I do like how the claws poke through. It adds just a bit more texture into the figure in a strange way. But yeah, uh, let's quickly pose this up. And So here we got him doing like a... We're getting ready to do a spin kick, so it looks like he's about to leap off the ground. Here's the 2022 version of Black Panther. I will do a separate video showing every Black Panther minifigure. Although I have to admit I am missing one version of him, which is the 2020 version. But yeah, he comes with the Wolverine claws, which I don't like. Because with Wolverine being in this wave as well, it just, uh, it's just weird. It's like iconic to Wolverine, not Black Panther. They should really make a separate claw piece, which they did in Lego Marvel Super Heroes, the video game. They had like a bone claw piece, which they never made in physical form. Would have been perfect for this um, Black Panther minifigure. And also another downgrade is that they don't have to print it on the cat ears. Like they do for the 2016 um, Civil War version. Uh, spinning around the back, he's got some great back head torso printing and back printing as well. Unlike the other two um, minifigures, he comes with a completely different headpiece and a hairpiece. The headpiece, I believe, is found in one other set. And the hairpiece is from the CMF series, which is really cool to see that get reused. Well, there you have it, guys. There's my review of the free brand new 2022 Marvel Max. Uh, as I said at the beginning, Wolverine's my favourite. Iron Man is a very cool build. And Black Panther is a very nice colour scheme, but I don't like the feet on that one. Because uh, it's just not a wide enough base. Pick these up, they're only like £9, £10 each, depending on where you buy them from. Um, really, really, really cheap. And... Uh, I can't say anything knock against them. Remember, comment which one's your favourite down below. Or do you have an overall favourite mech they've done over the last three years now? I'd like to hear down in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye for now.